everyone welcome back to yet another saturday i am very sorry that last saturday i did not post i really forgot i actually filmed it in the morning and then at night i forgot to post it um anyways so today i got um, the very popular dinosaur the sinoceratops i mean it became popular in 2018 when uh jurassic world fallen kingdom came and it was um, uh, shown in this green color and lately it was also shown in uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous in various different colors, gray, uh, orange, brown-ish, something like that. And um, I decided to make my version green because that's the uh, resource that was available. Now let's break it up into pieces. Now this is, um, it comes in four, seven major pieces. First it comes the head, which is, um, I mean, it's kind of detailed. The crest is, I mean, the frill is not that much detailed. I think I should make, uh, I should make that better. The eyes, I think I should change these for green. The, uh, what are called snot bricks. As for this technique, I, it's very similar to the one that I used in my Nasuta Ceratops. Uh, go watch that video if you haven't. Um, this is how it looks. And then we attach that again. The one horn on the face, there are no horns um, on the head, like the Triceratops. And then there is uh, the nose slash the beak of the dinosaur. And that's it for the head. Next we have the front legs. Um, well, this is how they look from uh, the side that's usually attached to the dinosaur. From this side, it looks, um, it looks fair enough, like it's not bad. Um, most of this piece covers the leg and this is how it looks like from the back mostly hinges and I use a snot brick over here and the technic piece over here a, few, a little bit of green and that's it for the front legs they're they're identical you know and for the hind legs they're um, they're better looking than the front legs I used also snot pieces over here Snot stands for um, studs, not on top. So instead of on the top, it's on the side, just like that. And this piece over here covers the the hinge. When you look at it from the front, you won't see it. As for this, no. When you look at it from the front, you can obviously see the gray and black and white. As for the tail, we have um, it's uh, pretty short. I think I should have made it a little bit taller. I use a clip over here and um, a socket, ball socket joint over here. I think that's what it's called. And then we got the body. I mean, it's fairly simple. There is white on the underbelly. I think I should have used more white on the body to reduce the amount of green pieces I used. And yeah, that's it. So let me assemble the dinosaur again. Here, the hind legs and then head. Other hind leg goes here. It's pretty much posable, but uh, I think sometimes it's just too loose on the joints. Place the tail and then we're done. The, this is Sinoceratops. It's posable, pretty much the head uh, has a ball joint so it moves freely. Uh, the frill can move a little bit, but it's not really um, it's not really supposed to move. You can move the legs a little bit for posability, whatever the the tail. And next we got the size comparison. Now compared to a normal minifigure, the size Ceratops is I think it's pretty much the scale, as we see it much more closely in um, Camp Cretaceous. Uh, I think. It's uh, it's good enough, if not supposed to be bigger. Next, we have uh, close enough to the oops to the Triceratops. Um, I mean, it's bigger than the Triceratops here. I think it should be smaller or the same size of the Triceratops. I mean, when I built it, I used the Triceratops as a scale. Next, um, oops, I forgot the Velociraptor. There it is. Compared to the Velociraptor, um, you know, usually the Velociraptors of uh, that Lego makes are way too big compared to the minifigure. Uh, in the movies, the Velociraptors 
uh, are about the same height as the mini as the human characters, maybe a little bit taller, but not uh, this tall. So uh, compared to the Velociraptor, the Sinoceratops looks uh, really small and should be way bigger. Next, we got compared to the T-Rex. Now, I think compared to the T-Rex, it's fine. It looks fine to me. Um, we don't really see them both on the screen at the same time. So I don't know if, like, I don't see a size comparison. Um, but I think it's good enough. Now, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I mean, this week's video. Uh, please leave a comment, any suggestions, anything you would like me to do in the future. Um, it would be really helpful if you like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. And um, thanks for watching. See you next week.